Hi everyone. One of the first things I want to get into with these tutorials and classes is the diluters. So the first one I want to show you is the fast diluter. This is great for making quick washes. This takes your oil paints and turns them into like a watercolor, but you can also get a lot of detail. This is the way to do it. So let's get to it. The materials we're going to be using today for this video are the Edible Artist oil paints. And I've got all the colors from the set out today. I've got my red, my magenta, blue, brown, yellow, green, black and white. We're also going to be using the fast diluter today. And this is nice and thin. This is the diluter that accelerates the drying time and thins these paints out really beautifully and gives us that gorgeous watercolor effect that we're going for today. And we'll also be using just a touch of the edible glaze. Of course, all of these products can be ordered on portaleopaints.com. I've got a wooden plaque here and I've laid a thin sheet of fondant over the top of it. So we're painting on fondant. And I got a collection, a simple little collection of brushes, but we'll get more into that as we get further into it. But the I've got some fine points, some flat shaders, and I'm just gonna jump right in. So to get a watercolor effect, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is make sure that I've got a lot of diluter on my brush. That takes the place of water, if you're thinking of this as a watercolor. So I'm gonna start with a light wash. This is almost like my sketch. Something you wanna do really early on, get a little brown on my brush, is choose a light source. So let's say the light source is here. So we want to make sure that this side of our painting is brighter. And this side over here is in shadow. And again, I'm keeping my brush really loaded with the diluter. And this is gonna dry really quickly, and that's just what I want. Okay, so I'm happy with that little mushroom shape. But before I go a whole lot further, I'm going to do a little bit of sky behind here and I already had some blue on my brush but I'm going to put a little more on there and when I tell you a little I mean a little bit. Is this on camera here? Let's put this on camera. Okay. I'm really, look how wet this is. This is very, very thin. because I want it to be very pale. I want it to have a little bit of a tone to it. So I'm gonna drag a tiny bit of this brown in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go and imagine a little bit of cloud happening back here. painting on fondant but you could do this on chocolate just as easily okay so now that I've put some sky in there I'm gonna take the tip of this shader make sure that I'm still loaded up with color I'm gonna take the tip and make sure there's more color on the tip
and see how that blends it out as I'm painting. And I'll do kind of layers of clouds maybe back here, but not too detailed. We want to suggest, we want to suggest some happy little clouds back here. To me, that's plenty. Now let's lay some color on this. Okay, I'm going to load up my brush again with a lot of diluter. I'm gonna swish it around in that color. See how thin that is? You can see on the plate, that's really thin. And I'm going to start being mindful of the light source and making sure that this side, again, stays a little bit brighter. We want to have a little shadow under here so that it looks like it's rounded. I love this look. I love this kind of very painterly watercolor effect. It's so beautiful on a cake. deeper with the shadow so I'm going to mix a little brown in and just like I did with my flat shader I'm going to load the tip of the brush so that as I'm painting the tip is laying down the densest color and the back end is sort of blending as I go just come around here with just a little bit of sort of texture and we want a, a little bit of light in there we don't want it completely white now see I'm starting to pick up a little color that's because I'm not giving it enough time to dry and really it only takes just such a short amount of time but while that's drying. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown. Thin, thin, thin. Okay, so now I've laid down some basic uh, color. I've kind of blocked in where all of my color is going to be. So I'm gonna come in and get a little more detailed. Since I want detail, I'm gonna use this pointier brush. And you can see this area that I was picking up the color before because it was still too wet. It's dried off and now I can lay the color on there just beautifully. It only took a minute. And 
now as I'm laying on these colors, just like before, but a little more so now, I'm keeping it nice and textural. All right, now let's lay in some darker color. I'm going to load my brush up with brown. And what I'm going to do now is make a little puddle of the color that I most want to use. I'm going to get a little tiny bit of black, a whole lot more brown. Okay, so this is going to be my source for this color. I've got too much on my brush. I'm gonna rinse that out. And now I'm gonna go in, little tiny bit of diluter on my brush. really thin with this come back and really enhance that texture I love the look of that get some red on here and mix that with brown and get a nice dark red Ooh, yes let that set up but while I'm doing that I'm gonna load up my brush again clean it then I'm gonna get some of my fast diluter and I'm gonna come in with some green but again I want to put a little bit of a tone on this I don't want it to be too bright to straight up green. So as you can see, I start with just a little bit of a tip and press my brush down as I go. And that gives me a nice grassy feel. And I think I'm going to put a pretty little fern up front. Just do some little branches maybe behind.
Now these are more just to kind of fill in and give it some depth, but these don't have to be perfect. I'm liking this. This loose watercolor style. I want a little bit more shadow on my mushroom stalk. And now I'm going to come in with some white. Now the white isn't going to be completely opaque over these colors. Some of the color may soak through and some of the reason for that is that we are using this fast diluter and so it kind of softens up the color beneath the white, wakes it up a little bit. And now that we kind of put all of this darkness in, here all of this shadow, we can go on top of it and put some brighter blades of grass. It just gives it a little dimension. I'm gonna get a little bit of magenta, just a wee bit. Magenta mixes so nicely with the blue and makes the most beautiful purple. And I think we need a little purple in here. go in with just a little tiny bit of white and brighten up the edge of that mushroom. And I want to put some white dots on here. So I'm going to get out my glaze. I'm going to clean my brush, come in with a few drops of glaze. And I'm going to give that glaze just a second to set up. But while my glaze is setting up, I'm just going to run through and play a little bit. Okay, so now I have these spots of glaze. The glaze is dry, and what that's going to do is create a barrier between the layers of color underneath and the layer of color I want to add on here.
And there you have it. Just a quick little mushroom, all done with the fast diluter. That gave us the ability to keep this loose wash effect, which is exactly what I wanted for this piece. A very kind of painterly style. This is the kind of thing you can do very quickly, very easily with your fast diluter.